Hi all, welcome to episode number 6 of the Trading Glory. Apologies for not getting really any videos up since kind of like the weekend um, of this, but just been kind of working away on this, getting kind of the inve I thought to focus on investments for this episode just to kind of show what we've been putting our coins in that we've been earning so far. So you're welcome to smash the like, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jay's a legend. All the links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always. Hopefully you're enjoying this and hopefully for what I show you throughout this episode gives you a clear idea of where we're putting our coins and kind of what we're doing. So at the moment we have in total within the club 53 informs and we have actually spent a total of 531,000 coins give or take it's like about five fares. I've roughly worked out about like 530 and going by current spends at the moment um, current price for everything is roughly around 660 before um, if you that is before you factor in tax once you've put the um, price after tax, we're making just about a hundred. We're making about a hundred k at the moment after tax. So, because I've got um, a spreadsheet that I do where I've got price paid, current price, price after tax, price before, and profit after, and obviously what team of the weeks they feature. So in Le um, Leconte's, Leconte's case, we paid ten seven fifty. He's going for around fourteen k at the moment. He was part of team of the week too. Definitely useful for like French elements within any play of the months, and because the Lagoon might have play of the month, like um, which we um, will show up later in the day, he might prove useful. So we never know. Uh, Nani, he was a discard buy at ten cent fifty. He goes for fifteen k at the moment. Last um, last check, but I would say for fifteen k, even then he looks half decent card. Position change, and if MLS play of the months or any MLS based SPCs come about. Or objectives, even he would prove useful in that case. Because she only is a 14 to 50 spend, he's 16k at the moment, a bit of an overspend, really. But I just took out it when I finally bought the card, it was a bit later than I liked. If I'd got, I think it was like a day before, it was like 1500 coins cheaper. But live and learn. And by the time I was trying to snipe him, I was totally unsuccessful. I kept missing cheaper ones, and it was one of those days. Or buying 10 to 50. He's going for 15k and they, as an 84 in form and Bundesliga player of the month. And I would say quite a good um, SBC card on that basis. That is pretty much all we need a lot of these cards for. We're, yes, we've put like 500k plus in, but you need a lot of these like 84s especially to just have that use as for like SBCs. Monreal, he has been playing pretty well in f f um, back at Sociedad, um, even back in Spain in general. But um, we've got two collectively spending 23k, one for 12, one for 11k. And as we've said, he's useful for linking up quite easily for like Sani Carzola or Yazabal and like Marino, all these type of players because like the Spaniards especially have so many links at the moment. Monreal is 12.5 that we spent and 16k is going for. And I would say, as we've said, with like Sani Carzola or Yazabal, they're so easy to link up with, so it's like I can easily use, depending if there was a big SBC to drop, I know I could put two in one um, specific crew and two in another, depending on how many informs were required. Brozovic, 11k spend for fifth and a 15k return, he's part of Team of the Week 2 and looks quite useful for our, that kind of 84 informed use. Carzola, he was 11 to 50 and I was pretty chuffed with that really, and uh, 15k is what he's going for, which is quite interesting since he's part of the current Team of the Week. Or Yazabal, we have two of him, 21k spend in total, one for 10 to 50, one for 10 750, and currently sitting on good profit of eight, well, collectively 50, it was like 15k each, for what I've roughly seen at the moment. Zapata, um, 10 750 for him, we did a lot of trading with him the other night, being able to get a lot at like 11, 12k, selling for 13, 14k, current price of 15, so I'm quite happy on that profit at the moment for his one. William Jose, 10.5 minimum price um, snipe, he's going for 15k, he's just handy for everyone, like, because of, like, depending how the SBC was to be done, he could link up for Oriazabal, he could link up for Santa Carzola, he could link up for Moreno, so plenty of uses for him. Lafont is 10.250, he's going for 11k at the moment, part of the current team of the week, and he would be useful for, like, Legoon play months if this does happen, that's all we've got to hope for, that it does happen, and the use. Doherty, 12.5, we got one at Shadow yesterday, 
sold that on for like 17k or something so it was like quick profit but this one happy enough at 12.5 he's going for like 15k at the moment and he's been slowly, slowly creeping up and hopefully he continues to do that players like Kacharwick these guys are just discarding forms they're handy for like if like Lewandowski or any Polish player that gets at, or any SBC in general where they're required like Pizel is just an 82 in form that's handy for anyone that's an Argentine same for Misionly these guys are just useful for anyone that's got a nation requirement for a SBC that needs an inform, and then also just because they're like 82 rated. And Benedetto, in his case, he would be useful for Lagoon Play of the Month. These players, uh, Misionly and Kachar work at minimum price spends and like 11k back, but in Benedetto's case, he's 17k at the moment, which is quite a big jump already, a decent jump, and we paid 13,750. Glovin, 11k spend for us, and he's actually 16, like 16, 17k, which I was not expecting. But we managed to get him for 11, sniped him nicely, and as before with like Benedetto and others, it's just Lagoon use. Pellegrini is a was a 11k spend. He's 12 and a half at the moment, which is kind of crazy. I did not expect that, um, but handy use f for SBCs. Sani is useful in the terms of Bundesliga, and if Mani was to get played month in Senegal, needs a requirement. Kolarov's just a handy 84 in form and cannot knock. Sani goes for 14k for what I've last saw and Kolarov goes for like 17k. Daily Blind is the highest rated in form that we've managed to get in. He's 14k that we paid for him. 18, 18 19k is what he goes for. Strakosa is a 10 7, 15 spend and he is 13.5. And But saying that he does fluctuate quite a bit I've noticed. He does go like then down to like 11.5, 12.5 but it is what it is. Like Ruben Blanco, Souza, these guys are all just minimum price like informs are just useful for SBCs. This is pretty much what these players mostly will consist of. It's just useful discard buys and you're welcome to pause over them all really. We have paid minimum price on practically everyone here. So like Dunkley is just useful as an English inform. Anyone that requires it. Chris Will was a 10k minimum price spend. He funnily enough goes for 14k, so he's handy for player of the month. Carlos Eduardo is just a handy Brazilian in form for any upgrade SBCs, um, like, I, like play months or icons, whatever, whatever may drop, whatever may drop. Derida is a 9.9, .9, he goes for 11. Same for Harit, he we had a spare one of him, but I've still never found him, but he goes for 13k. He's potentially going to get player of the month maybe, and that player of the month might be very usable, but it might not require the base in form of the margin. Uh, Caputo, he is just a discard in for me, goes for like 11k. But a lot of these players that are like 81s, 80s, 79s, yes, we bought them for minimum price. We're just waiting for a case for them for them to be useful. Tammy Brown, we paid 14.5. That was a big, big spend. That was probably a bit of an overspend, but he was going for 21k at last check. Remember, these are all Xbox prices, and um, obviously constant fluctuation amongst them all, and I do like to check them as well. But 2021k, 20, I would not knock in the slightest. Czerzawinski is just a discard um, in form, he's just, hand, like, just a handy nation to have for any up, um, any SBCs that may drop. For Sue, if he was a cam, he'd actually be a bit more usable and probably a little bit more because of his stats. But it's just a bit he's a left mid. But a lot of these players, all they are is just, as I said, if the minimum, if the price range is like 9.2 to 50, we've paid 9.2. We've not paid 9.3 or 9.4. We've just got them on bid at minimum price. We're not, we're trying to keep the spend down as minimal as we can. And for what we've noticed with every player, um, except for Margreeter, everyone's in profit. Casimir Ninga we got on minimum price spend. 9.7 on bid, like nobody was challenging us and he's now going for 16k. We managed to get about three at the same time. When we got this one, this was like not like the other night when the servers dropped. This was like when he first dropped out last week, so I was quite impressed. Holland is a nine seven spend, and he actually goes for fourteen k at last check, so that's quite impressive. I know he fluctuates quite a bit. I've seen a few drop at twelve. So Lamani, we've got an untradable one and a tradable one. Obviously, tra untradable ones in the club. The tradable ones on the transfer list, but the way he's been playing lately, he could hopefully get an upgrade because he's definitely not playing better than an 80 rated player at the moment. Um, Matrita, he is handy for potentially MLS player of the month. And then the last three players that we've got are two silver informs in Watson and Nishizawa. Both minimum price spends, but both going for like 10k, 9-10k. 
Um, we actually got three Nishizawas the other night and sold them all for like 9k each, um, which was quite good profit. And Bundu is just a minimal price in form as well. He goes for like 11k, which is quite impressive, but obviously he's part of Team of the Week 1, so his supply is just a little bit less. But I'm quite impressed with how this has played out. So, as we've said, our biggest actual spend really are Tammy, Blind, Collar, um, Kashelny and Benedetto, they were our biggest overspend if you want to call it and but even Doherty and Kolarov and Moreno are a little bit expensive spends as well but all in all, as I said, hopefully this gives you an idea, we've put 500k plus into buying all these up we're sitting on 100k profit but we're just sitting, waiting, like I'll keep building up coins as I said, I'll show more, more um, tri tricks and tips as we go along folks, but let me know folks in the comments down below, what, where are you putting your coins at the moment and if so, are you making profits? So hopefully you find this useful, folks. Smash like, so always, sub to the channel if you know it, and I'll catch you all later.